hey out there everyone on YouTube. Um, I was asked a question about my mechanical glove here and um, by a Luke Cole and on my CubeFX Facebook page and you asked me <coughs> how I made it. Now if you look at it very carefully you'll notice that it's all like wood textured. I don't really have that good of lighting in here. I'm just making a quick little video. And then let's see. I'm not used to doing this on a webcam. Just like that. Now what everyone doesn't know about it is since I have my backpack on, you'll also see a tube running here. This tube is normally not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be tucked under, but I just threw it on really fast, you know. But I'll hit my switches for my backpack. You'll see my backpack go start. Even my dog's like freaked out. She's like, why are you talking to yourself? But anyway. My backpack gets going, and pretty soon, I'm not sure how much liquid I have in my backpack on any of my, if I'm smoking right now. Yeah, I guess I'm smoking. Let's see. Well, normally, there is supposed to be smoke coming out of my knuckles, which at the moment, it's not. It's probably being pinched somewhere. Or you know something yeah normally my these are supposed to have smoke that kind of billows out from them just very subtle I have purposeful kinks in the hose so it's probably kinks somewhere and there's no batteries in it currently so my lights are dead but yeah normally this is supposed to light up there's supposed to smoke come out of here and you asked me how I uh, made it. Well, this was started with some, um, what do you call it, uh, plaster, let me shut off here, some plaster wrap. So I wrapped my arm in it, you know, I wrapped my arm. <clears throat> then over that, I laid fiberglass. So there's a fiberglass layer in here. Once it was the fiberglass was hardened, then I uh, I took out all the plaster cloth. Excuse me, I'm gonna take off my backpack here. That way I'm a little bit more comfortable whenever I talk. Um. And then I rip out the tube from my hand. <laughs> then I, from there, I covered it in Bondo, so all of this is Bondo here. Then I meticulously scratched in every single line of detail in the whole entire arm. And these you can buy at Home Depot. So it opens up so I can get my arm out. Then this is all leather. Everything that was put into this right here was all leather. And I have my clasps so I can get out. Then these you can find at Home Depot. I have no idea what they're called. I just liked them because I wanted the arm piece to be one whole piece. I could still rotate my arm, fingers, everything still work. That's the palm, in case no one's ever seen the palm. Okay. And whenever you wear it, you actually feel mechanical because you have very mechanical movements that you're able to make. You know, you're limited on bringing your hand back like that. But how often do you ever actually need to do that, you know? But other than that, I'm also currently working on yeah, I'll show you how fast this glove you can take off. The glove comes off like that. Pop those. And 
and the whole thing comes off in one piece. And you can put it all back together in one piece too. You know, it goes back together like that. You can still move it. But um, some other stuff I'm working on currently is I have this is going to be a shoulder piece. So this is going to sit on your shoulder like that. Then I have a new arm coming. So this is the new arm. I'm not going to fully put it on. But you'll get the idea. Like that. That's a new arm piece that is unfinished quite yet. So this is going to follow into this piece. It should be on your arm like that. And then this piece will be put onto here. So it'll be like that, you know. And then elbow. But other than that, that's pretty much how it's done. Just time, patience, Working a lot with uh, fiberglass, Bondo, stuff like that. Backpack's a different story. That's That took me a good three, four months to actually build. I had to actually plan it out. All the wiring diagrams for everything on the inside were drawn out. Um, you know, there's the fire on the inside. You know. A closer look in case if anyone's ever worried or wondered you know, there's actually stuff on here that no one's even seen like the 60659 that's on there the detail on the back piece the fact that these are rigid right here these are rigid so I can put it on you know take it off and put it on at the drop of a dime you know that's Backpack, I live a steampunk life, so I, you know, even on my coffee table over here, I have my other gauntlets, you know, hair goggles, sitting here, you know, just all that kind of stuff. And even if you look in the background, there's, you see right about here. There's just a bunch of goggles, and there's like mini top hats for my wife. Well, mini hats for my wife. And then there's the camera here. Some portal gun sitting there. I've got my steampunk clock up there, and now the TV's going. It's a laid back day, so, you know. Turn that down a little bit. <coughs> okay, but anyway, you were wondering, so I come through and I tell you the best that I can. Sorry if it wasn't too informative, but you know, things happen. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and take it easy.